Yeah, I am a potion shop seller. <laughs> I got into streaming because I was bored. <laughs> um, at the time, I was a stay-at-home wife and a mother, and so my son would be off to school, my husband be off at work, and my best friend was like, you should try streaming. And I said, why? And they were like, I think you would be good at it because you're very charismatic and you are a voice actor, so you know how to improv. And I used to work in entertainment at theme parks as characters, so like I know how to improv. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. I did it the day after my birthday day and it just started to stick i started to like do it once a week and then it transitioned to two times a week and then like now it's three now it's like full time so it's like one of those things that i'm very very happy with i love it now uh, especially because of the charity side that i do i love the fact that i can help people uh with all my charity streams i get lovely letters and that's what helped keeps me going uh doing my one charity a month it's like those people that i know that the money is reaching it makes me happy to hear their responses. So they and my community keep me going. It's actually my name. <laughs> yeah. Which is my maiden last name. Yeah. I used to get bullied for it. <laughs> Thank you, Witcher series for helping me. <laughs> now everyone's like, oh man, your last name is so cool. It's actually Witcher. Cause when I went to college, I think that's when uh, high school and college is when like, I think the first series came out. And like, they were like, oh my God, your name's so cool. Your name's so badass. I'm like, thank you. I used to get bullied in Catholic school for this. Now I don't. It's awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, we like to call ourselves the chaos crew. We're chaos kindness. So we're like chaotic screaming, stuff like that. But we love to also be kind to one another. So like comfy, kind of sometimes I do comfy streams. I just sit back and relax and just talk to people about like subjects like accessibility, um, being living with chronic illness, disability and things like that. And I hear people's voices. So that's why we call it the chaos kindness crew. Cause like, it's just one of those things where I'm very, very like, I like to help people. But I also just like to have fun and be chaotic, especially with my friends and mods. I'm scared. <laughs> Leave my buttons alone. I didn't even know it could do that. I didn't even know it could do that. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> my model is actually designed after lupus awareness. Uh, I have lupus and my mother unfortunately passed away for lupus. She's the catalyst of why I started to help other people because she helped a lot of people. My mother was a very giving person. I didn't know how much she gave when um, she was so busy working. She was a registered nurse as well, but she was also a teacher and she helped a lot of um, low income uh, people to get their degrees and become nurses to help others. Um, at her funeral, I was thinking it was gonna be a small funeral. And lo and behold, uh, it was, I, I turn around, I see these rows and rows of people. And it's all the people that she's helped. And they're all shaking my hand and telling me, thank you for having such an incredible mother. So when I came home from the funeral, I sat there, I said, I want to do something good too. I want to do big things. And I started raising money at conventions as a cosplayer. But then when I transitioned to streaming, I started doing it as streaming. And so that's what came up because I wasn't always a VTuber. I was also of the flesh, as we like to call it. Um, when I transitioned as a VTuber, I wanted my model to reflect my strongest charity that I've raised for and the thing that I talk about the most and in honor of and also in honor of my mother, which was lupus and i was like i'm gonna go with a witch theme because of my last name i'm gonna go with the color purple because that's the color for lupus gotta have butterflies because that's the symbol for lupus and the purple ribbon because that is also the awareness ribbon for lupus and i wanted to do a potion shop because uh i always love potion making i played a lot of potion making games when i was younger and i had a chemistry set so i wanted to be a potion selling vtuber eventually down the line but yeah my model is basically based around spreading awareness around the disease lupus and i made the character though i went to a concept artist named bear boy jw they're on twitter and they are also on twitch as well
Heave specializes in Final Fantasy slash Kingdom Hearts style art. And I wanted a more stylistic witch, with, but that had a little more modern twist with the lore that we we're making for it. So he came up with this design. But I'm also a JoJo fan, so the jacket is around Dio uh, from JoJo. So if you look at the jacket, it's literally modeled after Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2. Just saying. But anyway, um, but that's like, it's like little Easter eggs. Like the glasses are modeled after Bayonetta. Um, so yeah, uh, and then like I, I gave it to my 2D artist, which is named Red Claw. He is a, uh, he's also on Twitter and Twitch. Um, he did the model, he cut it up, and then he gave it to the person that rigs it, which is called Beast of Burden, and she put it all together to make me move and stuff like that. Um, I do have a 3D artist, their name is Kilakuma, and I have a chibi artist, their name is The Art Gun. I just talk about my day. I, I like talk about random stuff and then I'll go into another subject. And like my husband thinks I have ADHD because he goes, it really works for you. <laughs> Cause I like to go on a tangent about something and then be like, oh, that reminds me of one other thing. And then we just talk about that and just like ask questions and be like, what's everyone's favorite this? And then I have really good mods, really good mods that like ask questions too, to keep the uh, chat going and keep me going as well. So I'm very thankful for that. Mods are great. <laughs> I think one of the biggest moments uh, so far was when uh, we did, when is when I raised a big charity goal. Uh, I think it was, uh, what was his, oh goodness, not Mr. B, what's his name? I forget his name. He's a really big streamer, but he came by and donated $5,000 to my little charity. And that's when I was a smaller charity streamer. I keep forgetting his name. He's a really big streamer and I forgot. I'm having brain fog. Dr. Lupo, that's it, yeah! I was like, it's not Mr. Beast. I know it's a two-word thing with, like, a doctor or mister. But no, he was, he, he just came by and just, he was like, dropping $5,000, and I was just like... <laughs> I was like, you have no idea how many people that's gonna help Mr. Lupo. <laughs> Dr. Lupo, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Dr. Lupo, but I was... I was forever grateful. I was forever great. I'm always grateful to the people that want to help others and we spread awareness that helping others and spreading kindness. So like, it makes me fulfilled when those moments happen, when we reach that goal, we get a big dono or something like that. Those are the moments in streaming for me. Um, don't compare yourself to other content creators and just do your own thing because comparison is the thief of joy. Um, comparing yourself to artists will take away your own happiness and your own, um, own like way of doing things. And you'll just try to conform to everything else and you won't be unique in your own way. It takes away from your hat, your joy and your uniqueness. So that's why I always say like, if I can go back in time, like don't compare yourself to this, this person, just do your own thing and be happy. And then I'll just disappear. <laughs> Oh, I would love to work with three people. Uh, Zentrea, who is part of V Shoujo. Um, I love, she, she's my favorite V Shoujo member. Um, I would love to collab with T-Pain. <laughs> he's, um, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. Um, uh, and my last one would be Claudio. He's the lead singer of Coheed and Cambria, which is my favorite band. He streams too. I would love to collab with those three people. <laughs> okay, so a celebrity, I would like to sit down and talk with um, mm, uh, Deborah Wilson. Uh, I'm also a voice actor. Deborah Wilson is also is a, by far my favorite voice actor of all time. Um, she voices in so many things like uh, Star Wars, um, the newer Star Wars game. Uh, she was in God, the new God of War. She's Amanda Waller in the new Suicide Squad. She's been in this business for such a long time um, that she's like inspired me to keep working, not only as a content creator, but also as a voice actor. I just want to I just want to talk to her and say, like, what do I need to do to get better? <laughs> I just need five minutes of your time. I think she would be great. But if I had to, like, go back in time and bring someone on my stream, Oh my goodness. I would love to talk to Freddie Mercury. I would love to sit down and have a talk with Freddie Mercury. I think he's one of the greatest like creative minds in music. 
And I just want to like say like, how did you get your confidence after all that you went through? <laughs> I think he would be phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Come hang out with me with the Chaos Covenant at twitch.tv slash Tiffany Witcher. See you there.